Hello and welcome to the SciShow talk show, where it's SciShow and we talk. Today we are joined in the studio by Emily Grassley, the host of The Brain Scoop. She's going to attempt to stump me with some bones that she brought from the Philip L. Wright Zoological Museum, and then we're going to visit with an animal. So, let's start out and try to stump me? Yep. Okay, show me thing. You ready? Show me okay. thing. And I left the label on it, but I don't think it has much information that can get wrong. It's small and... Is it an otter? Close. That is the closest you have been so far on the first <laughs> guess. <laughs> it looks like a little otter head. Um, it's, I guess not necessarily. Is that, that pretty carnivory? And mm -hmm. it's got these, the same, I don't know, what are these teeth called? The dog-like teeth where you have the little incisors and the big canines? Yeah, incisors and canines, they're just. But like this configuration seems very common to me. It's a, it's a, Characteristic that you'll find in carnivorous animals, okay. omnivorous animals as well. So this is, pro I, I'm guessing this is an omnivore. Yep. Does it live in the water? No, opposite. Opposite of the water? Yeah. But I, you said otter was close. Well, similar, similar right. in the, in the taxonomic scheme of things. Is it a cat? No. No. No, it's too long. Mm -hmm. I like to look where the brains go. Do you have to get all the brains out through that little hole? Yeah. Yep. Mm. Well, that's why the brain scoop is so small. So you put the brain scoop into the back of it and then swirl it around and then shake it like a shaker and then it all comes out <laughs> in the sink. I can guarantee you've seen a video of this animal on YouTube. Is it a honey badger? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is! <laughs> I just, I had to. I had to bring it in. You have a honey badger we skull? We have a honey badger skull! The jaw connects mm -hmm. in this very specific way. And this hinge is extremely yes. tight. Yes, it locks together, and it's yeah. very hard to remove it and, and get just, it back I've, on. Yeah, I've, I've taken it off, and now I can't get back on. No worries. But yeah, it, I mean, it just locks in place. It, they're so fierce. And you might have noticed, like, there its it teeth are totally busted up. Yeah. Um, from being a honey badger. From being honey badgers. They will actually chase off lions from a kill. They'll try to take down bison, African buffalo. They will <laughs> attack humans and cars. I hear they go for the nuts, too. That's well, what I, I heard. Wouldn't, I wouldn't, that wouldn't concern me, but I no, would but not. That's, that's what I've heard, surprised. that honey badgers are somehow aware oh, of our vulnerabilities. Honey badgers don't care. <laughs> they don't care. When they're injured, they will continuously secrete their anal glands as a way of like warding off being like, hey, you might be able to get me today, but. But I've, but I've, I've glanded all over myself, <laughs> yes. but I'm covered in secretions, so you might not be super interested. One of the most interesting things about them is that they have a mutual relationship with a bird called the honey guide, which its scientific name is my favorite in the animal kingdom. It's indicator, indicator. So the honey guide <laughs> will f like flap its tail feathers to get the attention of a larger carnivore. Mm. Or a larger animal, and then the, the animal, the, like the honey badger, will follow the honey guide to like a beehive that it, it's not strong enough to break into to get the honey. Mm -hmm. So then the honey badger will break into it. The honey guide can have the honey, and they live harmoniously to an extent. So it's a guide for a honey badger or mm -hmm. another animal to the honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And now we will see an animal. Jesse from Animal Wonders has brought us. A lizard? <laughs> this is Lokita, the Chinese water dragon. Okay, I'm glad I didn't say iguana because it, it's not an iguana. Not an iguana, yeah. no. No, this is as big as she's going to get, but you can see she has a pretty substantial wow. tail. Yeah. That is pretty, pretty amazing huge. tail there. They use this tail for two reasons. One, to help them swim very, very fast. Because you are a water dragon. Yes. Very, very other. fast. How fast is very, very fast? She's going to be hanging out, and she's going to be basically pretty deep sleep. And then a bird of prey is going to fly over, and there's going to be a shadow that goes across her. And she can wake up like that, even though from a deep sleep, because she has something pretty cool. She has a pride of eye. You have an eye <gasps> on your head. She what? does. Let me show it. What the? You see it? Yes. Yeah. White. Little what? Spot. Just, a little, little, just a little sensor there. A little white a little dot. white sensor. If you want to see what that third eye sees like, you're gonna look at a light, close your eyes, and you're gonna wave your hand slowly in front of your oh. eyes, and you see that shadow? Yeah. That's what that eye sees. So it'll wake her up right away, and the first thing she's gonna do is she's gonna run, you know, 
big long legs, mm -hmm. toes wow. here to grab. She's gonna run down her branch and dive off into the water. She can hold her breath for 25 minutes underwater, and that's what this tail is for. She's gonna use it to propel herself downstream or across the lake and try and get away. Wow. That's about the most amazing thing I've ever heard in my life. You have <laughs> on a third eye. She does. That's incredible. But you're not afraid of it right now. Her other eyes are open. So no, she's like, yeah. I'm, aw I'm aware like, of the situation. You are not a That's your hand, dude. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, what were the beginnings of eyeballs? Oh, they're... Little yeah. things, sensor. dots just that just... Little, sense. little light sensors. Yeah. Now, so. if she weren't able to run down and get away from that predator, she could use this tail to whip them. Oh, wow. so that's not, a, that's not a folly off your tail. No, she cannot... Oh, she can lose the tail, but she cannot grow it back. Oh. And she doesn't... She can't let go of her tail. Right. It'd have to be bit off, basically. Yeah. Oh. Um, so no, it's a very, you can feel it. It's a very mm -hmm. hard tail, and see how hard it gets at the very tip there? Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be like oh, a whip. It's almost hard inorganic there. down there. Yeah, it feels yeah. Like. plastic almost. Yeah. I wouldn't want that like on my face. Yeah. No, it would hurt. It would leave a nice welt. Like a if switch. It happened. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to hold Lokita? Okay. You can feel how strong her nails are. Just she's gonna have very sharp nails to so be able to hold onto those yeah. trees and climb a lot. Grabbing wow. my hand. You see how she's <gasps> holding on with her feet there? Mm -hmm. She's made to hang on. You're not really holding on to her. She's holding on to yeah. you. I half expect her to have wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dragon. Like, another dragon. Another dragon. Another third eye. Like a little <laughs> dragon. And she feels like <laughs> leather soft on there. And mm -hmm. if you pet her under her chin, it's going to be more uh, smooth. All of her little scales are like individually colored. You can see all of them. It looks yeah. like pixels on a computer yeah. or something. She's pixelated. Mm -hmm. She is. Oh, well, let's see if she wants to eat something. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Snack What do you eat? Lokita. She yeah. would eat mostly. <laughs> Meat, so insects. Okay. Every once in a while she'll eat vegetation, but she's not really into vegetation. She doesn't like her vegetables. Today, mm. we're going to see if she wants to eat uh, a super Ew. mealworm. <laughs> I don't like that. What's that? I don't like that thing. I do yeah, want to eat, eat it. Yum. Nom, nom, It turns out I wanted to eat that. <laughs> Good. Look delicious, huh, Lokita? Want to try another one? Okay. Yeah, I got that yeah. tongue out. Yeah, you can hear it crunching. Does she have like teeth? <laughs> she has Remember teeth, yeah. Like, yeah, little ones. I yeah, see little nubbin teeth. Where are they hiding? What's that? Hot food. Nom, 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 nom. I mean, they, those did look pretty tasty. Mm, uh huh. Delicious. That's, yeah. Pretty girl. You give me a little scritch? Yeah. You like that? That feel no, good. No, 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 <laughs> She's like, like in, no, indifferent. Lizard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm indifferent to everything what? except mealworms and, yeah. and shadows while sleeping. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nokita, thank you for coming on SciShow. Thank you for watching this episode of the SciShow Talk Show. Thanks to Jesse of Animal Wonders for helping us out. And thank you to Emily for co-hosting. Yay! We'll see you next time.